Greetings, Internet, and welcome back for another Oxlimations presentation. For today's video, we've got an unboxing of sorts, or rather an unwrapping, I guess you'd say, because I went and did a thing. I have an idea for this upcoming Oxtoberfest, and well, actually, no, to get in the spirit of things, to get in the season of things, let's go ahead and Get the old top hat on. Make sure there's no little spiders or anything hiding around in it, because we've been dealing with a small invasion of sorts of little tiny arachnid babies. I actually caught one right here in this very office. I came in here to check on a something or other. I think I was checking on an upload on the laptop, and I just see this little itty bitty tiny dot just like hanging out in midair, slowly going down. And so I got a water bottle and I just went and caught the little sucker. But anyway, I just realized this thing's on the little... There we go. Alright, so, like I was starting to say, for this particular video, I uh, picked up a little something because I have an idea for Oxtoberfest this year. And, well, I'll go ahead and uh, give a little bit of a hint as to what I'm going to be you know, reviewing, because I usually kick off Oxtoberfest and most of the uh, the seasonal video series with a review. Let's go ahead and just slowly raise this up into frame. Then we'll put it back out of frame. And then what the heck, I'll just show you. I'm going to be doing a review of When Good Ghouls Go Bad this Oxtoberfest. And for that reason, I'm not going to share too much more information about it. All I can say is, as you just saw on the cover of this VHS, which if you notice this green crayon stripe on it, this was another Goodwill find of mine from years ago. And I remembered seeing this on TV back when it premiered on Fox Family. And I had not seen it again since that point in time. But... Uh, gonna try and save a lot of that story for when I record that video and you know upload it in October or September I've, I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna upload that but it will be during Oxtoberfest and it will be the first video aside from the one saying see you next week as I usually do but yeah I remembered seeing this all those years ago and I <clears throat> actually enjoyed the story and had almost forgotten about it until I saw that the Goodwill that day, and I was like, wow, I I didn't even know they released this, and so I, I purchased it at that point in time. But this video is not about that. It's about the contents of this little package right here that arrived in the mail. Because I'm going to open this thing while I talk, and hopefully it's not going to affect the uh, recording, the audio, too much because it's a crinkly bag, but <clears throat> something that I was not privy to, some information I was not privy to all those years ago when I saw that particular VHS tape or when I watched the special when it first showed up on television was the fact that there was a book adaptation of When Good Ghouls Go Bad. And well, I now own a copy. And unfortunately it's not in the best shape. I can see right now that whomever owned this before me or whatever company, what have you, had a sticker right here and they tried to remove it and in doing so they tore the cover. So that's fun. Like, they legitimately tore the cover. So, I'm going to try, because I'm usually pretty good at this, to peel off that sticker and reveal the rest of what's still, you know, unspoiled about the cover. So give me just a moment here, folks. Okay, there we go. 
so the damage isn't as bad as I was expecting it to be, but it's, uh, it's still not great. But yeah, underneath that sticker, this is what happened, because apparently whomever purchased this to sell it via eBay, which is where I bought this, picked this thing up from a Goodwill, because you can clearly make out, well, you can probably kind of clearly make out the, um, if I hold this just right, you can kind of make out the Goodwill sticker that's still under there. It's still got the little barcode thingy over here. And this person was like, hmm, I could buy this and flip this. And instead of just carefully trying to peel the sticker off, they were just like, okay, let's get this off there. Uh, well, okay, let's just put this other nice white sticker over top of that. That would explain why this was so cheap. But regardless, so I picked up this bad boy right here because of the fact that, well, like I said, I'm pretty sure I said just before I went kind of mental on being like, Okay, let's get that sticker off there. Yeah, it's gotta gotta peel it just right. Just just gotta because for whatever reason, <laughs> I don't know what it is about me, but um, when I see, like I was just talking about that sticker that was on there, and it's not supposed to be on there, there are times like that where I'm just like, I know I can get that off of there, so I'm gonna try, and then I just like hyper fixate on okay. Now, if I pull this way, I'm going to go that way. Okay, well, it's already damaged there, so if I'm just very careful, I, I'm weird like that. I don't know what it is. I just hyper fixate on silly shtick like that. Anyway, <clears throat> so when I found out that there was a book version of this, I keep getting the glare from the light on the book cover, but when I found out there was a novelization of When Good Ghouls Go Bad, I wanted to get my hands on one, but it turns out that this particular little book here is kind of a hard thing to pick up. It's a hard thing to acquire because, well, they only released it as a tie-in to go with the, uh, the special, the uh, made-for-TV movie. And as such, you know, it was not printed for a very long time. So, yeah. So, as I was starting to allude to, going to be a that was a weird visual glitch. I hope, I hope the camera picked that up. I hope the recording picked that up. I just looked at the camera, uh, the computer, and there was like a bar of... If, if I caught it, I'm going to screenshot it and put it here, a bar of this. The hell. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm planning to do a review on this and potentially also a review on this, like maybe back-to-back, -back, maybe different episodes. Who knows? I certainly don't at this point. But, like I said, we're not going to talk about the VHS right now, because that's going to be then. Let's go ahead and take a look at the book. So, I, I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. So, right off the bat, there's a bit of a difference here. On the VHS and the um, quote-unquote movie poster for this, Christopher Lloyd's like looking at you from the side like that, and he's just all in grayscale or gray purple or whatever you'd call that particular color. But on the cover of the book, it's him looking basically straight at the uh, the viewer, and also giving a uh, kind of like. I don't know if he was going for like more of an Uncle Fester vibe there, but also for whatever reason, he almost, again, I don't want to give too much away, but he almost looks like a clown right there. How he's got like the, uh, the green circles under his eyes. Looks like clown makeup. Again, I don't know. So getting back to what I was saying, I'll give a brief description from the back of the book and the VHS. I mean, I, I really have to stop myself because I'm going to be giving so much away that by the time I actually make the review of these things, there's not going to be a whole lot left to talk about. Um, 
So from the back of the videotape, a howling Halloween adventure for the whole family. 12-year-old Danny Walker is shocked to learn that the small Minnesota town he just moved to can't celebrate Halloween because of a local curse. With the help of his recently deceased but still kicking Uncle Fred, Danny must battle an army of prankster ghouls rising from the ground to break the curse once and for all and bring back the magic of Halloween. And on the back of the... Uh, yeah, I was going to call this the VHS. On the back of the book, Evil ghouls will rise from their graves if anyone celebrates Halloween. Is this old town legend true? The kids of Walker Falls are about to find out. Watch the TV special When Good Ghouls Go Bad starring Christopher Lloyd on Fox Family this October. Look for the Fox video in the store near you. Okay, so apparently this came out before this. Yeah, it says right, but then, but wait. Watch for the TV special When Good Ghouls Go Bad starring Christopher Lloyd on Fox Family this October. But at the same time, the book says, based on the Fox Family hit TV movie. I, I am confused. So, this came out first, but it was based on this. But this one tells you to look for this at your local retailer. My brain hurts. <laughs> Like, I mean, in a manner of speaking, it could be that this was released to hype this one up, and they may have been released uh, close to the same time. I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is I'm going to be doing a review of both of these in October, which means that I'm not going to be talking too much about this, although I noticed something about this one. As I've been, you know, just kind of like flopping it around and peeling those stupid stickers off and looking at it, it appears to be, it is. This is one of those special movie books where it has like full color images from the film and or TV show. Kind of like those uh, Goosebumps Presents books, how they've got, the cl uh, yeah, clips, how they've got images from the episodes. That is actually pretty neat. Now what's this here at the back? Ah, okay, okay, cool, cool. In the back, it's got advertising for R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour. I actually had that version of that book. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. Let's see if I can get a good angle on that without bending the spine too much. Yeah, see that book right there with the hourglass with the skull in it. I had a copy of that at one point. So yeah, this is going to make for some good reading. I just wish the idiot that got this from the Goodwill and then decided to resell it on eBay hadn't messed up the cover by being an idiot and trying to rip the dang tag off like that. <sighs> it's one of my pet peeves, but whatever. I have a copy of the book. It's not in perfect condition, but it doesn't have to be. Although now there's a part of me that wants to actually track down a better copy of this book. And that, that part of me annoys the hell out of me, because it's like, it's perfectly fine, it's completely readable, I like it like this. And that part's like, yeah, but, but that, you know, that part right there, that's no good, we should get a different version, and I'm like, would you shut up? And it's like, no, get a better copy of that book. Like I said, I'm weird. Anyway, so what I'm going to wind up doing for that particular video when I get around to doing that review this October is I'm going to be watching When Good Ghouls Go Bad and then reading the book and compare and contrast like I was doing with those Goosebumps episode versus book reviews. But then the powers that be at YouTube started messing with those like from the very first episode of uh, the book versus episode reviews I believe the haunted mask was the first one I did a video on I kept getting copyright claimed on those which I understand it I was using clips from the episode and the, 
for that one specifically, I understand why that one got flagged. Because the scene where Carly Beth is walking home from the cemetery, yeah, where she buried the mask. No, not where she buried the mask. Anyway, she's walking home and she's got the mask off. You know, she just defeated the evil thing. I had that entire clip because I was contrasting between what happened in the episode, which was the camera showing us that she was perfectly fine, versus the, the book where it doesn't reveal that she's actually fine. She got the mask off. But when she gets home, her brother has a freak out, and it isn't until she looks in a mirror and sees that she's perfectly fine that we, the reader, understand this. In the episode, they give that away from the get-go. She's got the mask off. She's like, it's a mask. It's just a mask. Then she goes home, and her brother's like, oh, Carly, take that mask off. Take it off. She's like, huh. And she runs to the mirror, and she's like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, and she gets mad at her little brother for screwing with her like that. Anyway, what I'm getting at is the reason why I stopped doing those Goosebump book versus episode reviews is because I was having to work harder and harder and harder at editing those clips in a way where I could use like five, six, ten second clips at a time and still be able to show what I wanted to show without getting copyright claimed. But then we got to the last of video of that particular series that I did, the A Night in Terror Tower, and they still wound up flagging that one for only one clip, even though I chopped out like five seconds of this clip where they're running away from the executioner guy, and they wind up in the hotel kitchen. It's... Anyway, I'm rambling at this point, but... After that happened and I spent so much time and so much effort editing my way around trying to get away from Nine Story Ireland, which is the company that keeps claiming those videos, you know, claiming the video, and they're like, this is good, this is good, this is good, uh-huh, uh-huh, um, oh, wait a minute, this part right here that you did actually edit and you did all the things to, well, um, frig you, we're gonna claim that anyway. It just really got in my head and I was like, okay, fine, whatever, I'm not doing these anymore, and I stopped doing them because that, that really ticked me off. But we're not here to talk about that. We were just here to talk about the fact that I picked up a book so that I can do a video review, and well, by the time this particular video comes up, who knows how long, how far off Oxtoberfest will be from this particular point in time. But I hope that you all will enjoy this year's festivities. Let's see. One thing I've been doing with these R.L. Stein books recently, because, yes, if in case you guys missed that... Ah, eh, well. In case you guys missed that, this was written by R.L. Stein, and the story for this was also written by R.L. Stein, which is part of the reason why I was bringing up Goosebumps just now, because, you know, R.L. freaking Stein. So, like I was starting to say, uh, one thing that I've been doing with these R.L. Stein books is looking to see if the, you know, the copy that I have is a first edition, and it says right here in the book, right here in the first couple of pages first Avon edition 2001 let's see visit us on the world wide web www.harperchildrens.com hmm. okay cool 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 ooh okay no, 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 no. I have to stop myself, because if I keep talking about this, then I'm just going to get into a full-on review of the book, and... No. <laughs> mm -mm. Bad. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I have a hard time with willpower when it comes to stuff like this. So anyway, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video. I do truly and greatly appreciate it. If you like what you've seen here today, and if you want to be notified when... I finally do that review on When Good Ghouls Go Bad, both the movie and the book. Be sure to hit that bell icon. Well, nope, that, uh, be sure to get yourself subscribed and then hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos like that one. 
Also, feel free to comment and subscribe. I already said subscribe. Like and comment. And if you'd like to help out the channel, you can go ahead and get subscribed to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash oxlimations. There will be a link in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I'm still working on that. Uh, I'm still very, well, at this point in time when this video goes up, I'm not going to be as new when it comes to the Patreon thing, but hopefully there's going to be some decent stuff up there. I'm toying around with a few more ideas, at least as of the time that I'm recording this video, so hopefully I'll have implemented them by that point in time. Maybe I'm going to start doing some Patreon-exclusive live streams or something, maybe open up a Patreon-exclusive Discord. I don't know. As of right now recording this, that hasn't happened yet, but by the time this video goes live, who can say? With that said, though, I want to, like I said, I want to thank you all so much, each and every single one of you, for watching. And this has been Oxlimations, your old pal, telling you that I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>